It's the end of the day with Ray. Hello, my friends. Okay, I've been talking about this Amplify thing for a long time. I'm hoping today, I'm hoping today's argument really wakes up my friends in the document image. I hope it wakes up all the dealers because I think today I thought about something. I thought about something, folks, that I think should slap you in the face and say, holy crap, we need to go back and ask HP some more questions. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been over a year, I think, that I've been talking about this Amplify thing, really close to it. I've had Bob Goldberg on the end of the day with Ray. I talked about my friend Alex in Australia with Dynamic Supplies. You know, I did the crazy acronym. You know, what was that? Amplify, a massive program, largely incoherent, causing the dealer owner to say the F word as they yearn for something better. I mean, folks, the reality of it is I'm not a big fan of Amplify, right? And, and a lot of the dealers understand, understand that giving data to a major OEM is problematic, right? A lot of dealers aren't real happy with it. Some dealers actually told HP, no, we're not going to give you the data. You know, we'll pay more money for your products. And ladies and gentlemen, on Tuesday, I did a video. And after I published that video and I listened to it again myself, I really got slapped in the face myself and thought, man, this is the argument. This is the argument I need to take to my friends in the Documentivity channel regarding Amplify. And the argument is simple. Let me pull up that slide again. Remember I was talking about HP going to the marketplace. I used Marco as an example. You know, go buy up a big mega dealer. Ladies and gentlemen, the bottom line is HP will buy distribution. They will buy up a dealer. I mean, why wouldn't they? They did it in Europe. They bought up Apogee and then they let Apogee go out and buy up some more companies, right? Well, they're going to do that in the United States, right? One would think. Why not? You know, whether it's Marco or our friends down there at, at UBO, what if they bought UBO? Then they told UBO, go out there and buy some more distribution. We want you to buy a billion dollars worth of distribution so we can compete head on with Dex Imaging. You know, Dex, they want a billion in their portfolio. HP, maybe they want a billion. Maybe they want a billion dollar direct footprint that they acquire through buying up dealerships, right? Now I want you to think about the Amplify Agreement. Because on this map, there's a whole bunch of other organizations, right? We got RJ Young, we got Novatech, Metro. So there's all kinds of dealers all over the land, right? 50, 60, 80, $100 million companies. How's that going to impact them? How's it going to impact these $20 million, $10 million, $5 million dealerships that have signed up with Amplify? And they're giving away data to HP. And now HP's direct in the marketplace. Does that not scare the hell out of you? Am I there yet, folks? Are you starting to say, whoa, wait a second. I didn't think about that. Folks, here's the question. What's, what, what does HP tell the dealers? You know, because, you know, they have these little parking lot meetings. They already said if they, you know, if they have a problem with the agreement, well, then they just meet with the dealer privately and they kind of talk about it. Remember that article? Crazy stuff. And so, you know, when they're meeting with you and you're talking to them, are you asking them, hey, if you come direct and you buy out one of my competitors, you know, and now you're kind of competing against me direct. You know, uh, do, what happens with my data? Do you think about that? Boy, I'd be thinking about that. You know, a few day, a few videos ago, I suggested that HP at least show the world the data they're collecting, what, it, what template it looks like. Show us what you're collecting. Show us what you're passing over to some third party and you don't see any of the data. Make the third party show us what they're collecting. So then the dealer owners, they can use their imagination of what you might be able to do with that data in the future. Because that's what it's all about. It's not about today. It's about the future. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe a lot of dealers, they just, they just did this. They sold themselves for a quick, a quick gain. You know? They're in the marketplace. We're a desperate marketplace, a declining marketplace. You got HP out there saying, sign up with this agreement. I'll give you a better price than the guy that doesn't. <laughs> sign up with my agreement. You'll get a better price than the guy or gal that doesn't sign up with the agreement. Oh, okay, I'll sign up and I'll give away all my data. Crazy, right? Because ladies and gentlemen, your customers are just a click away from buying direct from HP or buying from whoever HP decides they could buy from. We already know they sell all kinds of A4s online, right? Just hit the button shop now, right? Ladies and gentlemen, go to their website. They got the page wise. They got the A3s. You want to get information on A3, fill out the form, right? Currently, it's fill out the form. But eventually, there'll be so few A3 sold that HP will make a great living selling A4 MFPs to businesses all over the world without you, without the dealer. Or they're only going to use the dealers that they acquire that are their direct operations in certain markets around the globe. Because I assure you, when you fill out this as a customer, who are they going to give it to? <laughs> I mean, who do they give it to? Only the dealers that are on Amplify? Well, now you got... They own a dealer because they bought a mega dealer. Okay, in my story, they went out and bought their own distribution. So who do they give the lead to then? Are you going to come? I mean, th this changes the game drastically. 
And they're the only OEM in the world right now that sells more products outside of the dealers than through the dealers. I want everybody to pay attention to that. I'm going to say it again. HP is the only print OEM in the world that sells more product without, without the interference of the dealers. And that's, that's something to think about, folks. They sell a ton of crap on Amazon. They sell a lot of products through big bars. And the only reason they need the dealers today is to move the A3s. That's it. And of course, I believe it's because HP was a little bit delusional in their aspirations around A3. They thought they were going to wipe out that $55 billion A3 marketplace with their A3s. That was five years ago or so, and it's not working out for them. So then they decide, well, let's get a little bit aggressive. You know, let's get the dealers to give us some data. We'll give them some extra dollars off the equipment. We'll support some functions they have. Ladies and gentlemen, it's, I mean, you know, I, I, you know, I see this stuff all the time. We're having a webinar sponsored by HP. We're going to do a security course sponsored by HP. You know what? Maybe you ought to look for another sponsor. Because I believe that HP right now is just seeding. They're just seeding the dealers' businesses. They're seeding them. And eventually, they're going to harvest those customers. Just my opinion. But when they harvest those customers, they're probably going to harvest them. And they're probably going to supply those customers with a different means to get what they want from HP outside of you. And that's a serious thing to think about as an industry consolidates. And that's why back when I had, you know, my friend Bob Goldberg on and he was talking about the biggest, the biggest asset you have as a dealer is your data. You got to protect it with everything you own and have and heart and hold it to your, I mean, folks, we can't allow overreach and OEMs, overreach and OEMs to make our life even worse in a declining marketplace. Just some things to think about because when we're doing things strictly for the dollars, it never really works out most of the time. Ladies and gentlemen, we all know this. Status quo is the killer of all that will be invented. Don't get stuck in status quo, and I'll see you all tomorrow.